Hey everybody, I was getting ready for work this morning when I saw this news item and I just had to do something really quick. After more than 50 years of feminism in America and almost eight years, two terms of Obama, the women in America are worse off, according to the World Economic Forum's annual report on gender disparity. Yes, this is true. Women are working more than men, but getting paid less. The pay gap is worse than ever. American women are earning only 67 cents now on the male dollar. How can this be? 50 years of feminism, two terms of Obama, and American women are worse off than ever? The Equal Pay Act was made law in 1963. Yet, women are worse off than ever. <laughs> this they attribute to sexism, but 50 years. <laughs> I'm surprised that women by the millions don't take to the streets to protest. Isn't equal pay for equal work the law? Isn't it illegal to pay women less for the same job? Where are the thousands, if not millions, of lawsuits? Where are the legion of reports of violations? Could it be that the real problem is the feminist statistics? After 50 years, you'd think they'd have fixed these things by now. Almost two terms of Obama. You'd think they've made things better. Not just for women, but for blacks, too. Yet, we have Black Lives Matter telling us that after almost two full terms of Obama, blacks are worse off than ever. This they attribute to white racism. But Obama... <laughs> Maybe the problem isn't white racism or male sexism. Maybe the real problem is the studies, the statistics, the advocacy groups who rely on things getting worse. It is, after all, the best of times for them to claim that it is, for them, the worst of times. For women, for blacks, for everybody but men in general, and white men in particular. So what's their solution? More of the same, of course. Hateful Hillary and her criminal Clinton Foundation depriving men of more rights. A couple of weeks ago, Elizabeth Colbert, or is that Colbert, had an article in the New Yorker to deny men the vote. Feminists have been pushing things like that ever since the 1980s. In her 1995 book, for example, Men Are Not Cost Effective, June Stevenson advocated a special testosterone tax. These people don't care about women. They don't care about equality. They just want to oppress all of us, starting with men. Sometimes their laws come back to bite them in the ass. Stephen Molyneux and Lauren Southern were laughing about this in their massive voter fraud video. As a joke, Lauren legally changed her sex from female to male. <laughs> people are making a mockery of this whole thing. Some kid declared he identifies as an attack helicopter. That sounds like fun. Another said he is to be addressed as Royal Highness. <laughs> yes, these things happen until the status thugs tweak the laws. For a couple of years in the 90s, the mandatory arrest of the violent perpetrator on domestic violence calls led to police arresting more women than men. We were all laughing how the feminists got hoisted on their own petard. But then the feminists came back and got the law changed to require police to arrest men. They lie and do whatever they think they can get away with to advance their agenda. And in the process, they're making things worse for everybody. Despite the legitimate legal issues raised by Martin Luther King Jr., Medgar Evers, and others, by and large, American blacks were better off 50 years ago than they are today. Same for women. Yes, there were legitimate issues. I was 15 years old when Martin Luther King was assassinated. That hit me really hard. I found him truly inspirational, and I looked up to him as a hero. He raised uh, everything he brought up was legitimate. But the families were intact back then. More black kids were being raised in solid black families and going to school, getting education, getting decent jobs. I support equality in the eyes of the law, but from then until now, the main goal of feminism and the civil rights movement has been the destruction of our civil rights, our civil liberties, and to subjugate us all. Is there anybody with an IQ above room temperature who still doesn't see them for the totalitarian, power-hungry thugs they are? Really? Really?